Uh, and then there's tonight, terrible news out of California. A Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department sergeant has died after being shot in the line of duty. Sergeant Steve Owen, which is 53 years old. One suspect so far has been taken into custody after a short stand. -up. I want to bring in Fox News military analyst Captain Chuck Nash. And, uh, Captain, uh, Captain Nash, this is a very delicate situation in our country right now, but for me, I've seen a war on cops for a long time, and I, I saw it as an ideological war, fought in the media, then fought uh, by Hollywood uh, with all their scripts and, and, the, and the cops being bad guys, and now we're seeing it uh, play out on the streets. What do you make of it all? Well, Charles, it's being fueled by a false narrative, and the false narrative is that somehow our backward, uh, racist uh, police are out on the street gunning down innocent people, and in particular, uh, gunning down unarmed innocent black men. Uh, when in fact, if you look at the statistics, a police officer between 2015 and 2016 has, is twice as likely to be killed in the line of duty. So the Ferguson, Ferguson effect, call it what you will, the police are no longer proactive policing. The bad guys are, are getting more free license and these shootings uh, are happening. I don't know the situation here in this shooting. Uh, it could have been off a traffic stop. It could have been an assassination, uh, as we've seen. I don't know. Right. But too many police are being killed because of a false narrative. Right. I, I, I think, and of course, uh, we don't know all the, all the news, but uh, the details, but apparently it was a call, perhaps a, a burglary of sorts. Uh, but the, the end result, of course, is that another police officer is dead. Coming into today, I think we had 40 shot and killed, and, and that is up 43%. Yeah, Captain Ash, I, I've always been for a long time a, a big proponent of the camera system. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I invested in these stocks. They did very well. Uh, is it time to rethink them, though? Because it feels like they've inflamed the situation. And uh, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but I have seen video footage that has been inconclusive. Yeah, it is inconclusive. And uh, quite frankly, I think the technology will continue to improve as money is put into it. The cameras will get smaller. The sound systems will get better. Uh, and, and we will have uh, more evidence because a lot of times the police officers are accused of doing things that they did not do. Right. And were it not for the camera, they would be helpless. It would be a he said, he said. And now there's film footage where a lot of the bad guys, even if they don't know they're on camera, they have to suspect that they're being right. recorded. And the reason I brought that up is because we are talking about uh, tense, tense relationships in the street. And sometimes if, yeah. if it is accurate and we have different angles, it can, it can help m mitigate the situation. Last night, the idea of community policing came up. Uh, m most people say any form of policing is community policing. But I think the idea is somehow integrating a greater, tighter relationship between police and local residents, would that help? I, I absolutely believe that is key to it. But for that to happen, now a police officer is at walking speed or bicycle speed as opposed to vehicle speed. So you're, you're giving up uh, the ability to right. patrol a greater area, so you need more police, and that, of course, falls on the taxpayers and the, and the cities and municipalities and states. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it, though, sir. One, once yeah. again, I want to say um, Officer Steve Owen, 53 dead. Rest in peace.